Welcome back to the Rip Curl Newcastle Cup presented by Corona. We're seeing the big names hit the lineup now. Out in the lineup for this exchange will be John John Florent. And we'll see his first ride now. Ronnie Blakey with Richie Lovett. Also joined by Luke Egan. And Luke, strong first turn from John John there. Lightning fast first turn. Thanks, Ron. And uh, John's been surfing the rocks for a, for a while now. And... Uh, Been surfing the rocks a fair bit lately. John Florence, look at this first turn right up into the steep part of the wave, pushing super hard on the tail, bringing the, the fins round to the beach. And for me, he's taken on the rocks break here at Merriweather better than anyone I've oh. seen that's not from Merriweather so far. Yeah, awesome, Rich. And again, going to that uh, that Pizel shape, but the dark arts construction. It's a different looking kind of board. Have you had a close look at it? Mate, I haven't yet, but I'm uh, just fizzing to get down there and get a look, a closer look at that board. I was talking to Mitchie Ross about it the other day. The combination of the two, quite remarkable, but John is just looking so good. Have a look at this. This is the rookie, Morgan Sibley. Rumours of an ankle injury prior to this heat with the world number one. He knows he's got to give it his best, and he did it in the opening exchange. Actually got the jump on John Florence and posted an 8.1. Out in the lineup for this exchange will be John John Florence, the current leader on the rankings, taking on local boy Morgan Siblick, who's in his rookie campaign. And it's John Florence getting things started here. Tries to drift into a reverse. Incomplete. Looks so good in the seeding round when we got competition underway. In small conditions, John Florence just seemed to be riding on top of the water so beautifully. We're the wounded athlete, you know, we've said that time and time again. And if he is carrying some sort of a niggling ankle injury, it doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, heeding his, his performance at all. Louis, I was going to ask you just with Morgan, he doesn't seem phased at all with that first wave. You know, he, he looks like he's ready to go and, and rising to the challenge with John. Absolutely. And that's the best thing about Morgs is doesn't really care who his opponent is, where he's at, or whatever. He really focuses on himself and managed to have this formula already. So still a rookie to get his job done, what he needs to do. And uh, yeah, he's looking pretty good. And uh, well, we loved seeing Morgan kind of, uh, I think, enter the spotlight in the Rip Curl movie postcards from Morgs. But we've got John John Florence, the current world number one, trying to get a bit further ahead of the rookie at the moment, trying to get rid of a three on this one. All champs do that so well, but Morgan on his second ride now. Already an excellent score on the board. Aggressive first turn, and this is really his strength. Big rail turns in the pocket of the wave. An explosive, nuggety little regular footer rolling through to the inside now, and he'll get the finish. It's going to be a decent backup shot here against John John Florence. Here he goes. Nice, tight arc. I agree with Richie. Sharp eye is looking incredible under his feet. I love Morgan not worrying about the moment that he's got John Florence here. All he's worried about is the section in front of him and how good he's he's going to uh, uh, attack it. Well, if you've been watching on FS2, you can join us on the Fox Sports app or continue to watch on worldsurfleague.com as we see Morgan on the replay, really committed and tight to the pocket on that turn. Yeah, and just interesting to note for, for the recreational surfers watching that turn, just note how high Morgan had his hand. And again, on that second turn, as you know, Luke, it's almost that ballerina effect where you're, where you're spinning. Uh, and as the, the, the higher up you, you've put that back arm. If you're able to do that, um, you've made it unquestionably an unquestionable score in the judges' minds because they don't like to throw big numbers out too often when the world champs are in the lineup. John Florence, he gets an opportunity now to show us what he can do on the open face. Two razor sharp turns to kick this off, a third as well. And that is going to be a solid number. It's going to get rid of the 3.67. He needs a 5.28 to get into the lead, and he might just do it with that one. So being injured again, maybe it's uh, in Morgan's favour. Just on that, Louis, I think, sorry, we'll get back to that point, John, just uh, buying this one. I, I think the injury can sometimes work in your favour if you look at it as a positive because you end up taking away all the noise, all the other stuff that's going on around you, and you're just so focused on what you actually have to do. I guess you're a, you go a little bit easier on yourself mentally because you're like, hey, if I, if I just go out and give it my all, 
you know, I can only do my best and I've got this injury. It, it sort of diffuses the pressure a little bit. As we see, John and uh, pick this one up under priority, goes to kick the tail and spin the reverse. Can't ride out, 15 and a half minutes to go here. And Morgan having a look at this one, identifying some scoring opportunity here, drives up into the lip. Explosive first turn. Up onto the open face, just grinds through these calves so nicely. Really low center of gravity, very firmly planted and gets another clean finish on the inside there, Rich. Wow, this is awesome. As we see him paddling in nice and deep, just eases into the bottom turn and shrouds it out of the lip. Nice lip glide comes around and this one was awesome, just pushing the tail back around. Now what re-watching re it, uh, Rich, I absolutely agree with you. I think he's going to take the lead. It was that third turn for me, it was the money turn. These two setups, he didn't overcommit there and it allowed him to get to that, that third turn here where he just does this big wrapping cutback. Gets high up in the lip there, slams it, and then uh, eyes off down the line. That was the first turn, excuse me. And then uh, a little projection lip glide here. But for me, it's all about the power, flow, and commitment. The rail commit commitment in this third turn. So watch this, gets super compressed, winds up and then coils out of it. Look at that uh, extension. And then uh, just drives it through, lets the fins just release ever so slightly. And then uh, perfect composure. The performance that he's putting together at the moment has them on their feet, cheering for every single ride that he finishes off on the inside there. And the confidence is gonna be uh, really building. John Florence, he's gonna have his hands full as we wait for this next score to drop. Florence trying to keep himself on pace here with the rookie. Driving down the line, finds a little bit of cover. Rolling through to the inside, tries to whip the river. Numbers coming through for Morgan at a 7.6. From that last ride, he is into the lead. And now the current number one is after a 7.88 to get in first. And, and, and Morgan's just not doing that as we see John having a look at this little insider. Well, while we're in that recap, Morgan gave priority away. And that is an error you can't make with guys like John Florence, but unsuccessful on that. Air reverse attempt. See what happened or went wrong here, Rich. Yeah, John, just uh, a nice slice to start things off. You could tell he wanted to get to the air. And I'm going to try and blow this kid away with some progression. Well, Morgan, easy decision to take this ride. It's a good looking wall. First turn strong. Second goes to the rail. Trying to better uh, a 7.6 here. Big finish once again. Remaining so composed. Richard, you obviously had big heats when you were first on the championship tour, coming up against big names. When you got yourself in a position like this, how hard was it to close out the heat without getting ahead of yourself? Oh. As that he normally lands with his eyes closed, he's fallen off the last two waves, and it's so unlike John, and I think maybe just the, the energy that this Merriweather crowd's brought to Morgan has just backed him, and Morgan's ready to go. He's fired up. I love it. Yeah, it really is uh, connecting with each of the big scoring sections that are, are being presented to him at the moment, Luke. Uh, one thing that we've got to note, and I think it's a, a big decision that Morgan made, does put a 9.03 on the board. John Florence now after a 9.3 to get himself into the lead with just under two minutes to go. Dimity Stoyle watching on and uh, obviously had a lot of success. We'll get back to that in a moment. Florence chasing that big score, pushes hard, a little too hard, and he goes down, 45 seconds to go. But Will Weber, he has to give a, a lot of thanks to Will for getting him onto the championship tour. Uh, an incredible moment for this kid, you know, getting getting a win over someone as experienced and, and revered as John John Florence at this point in his career. You know, let's not forget that this kid's only done a couple of world championship tour events. He's still a real...